Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am filming in my upstairs living room. So this is the bed that I have upstairs. And today I'll be bringing you guys my top 10 anime box sets that were released in 2020. Uh, this is the first top 10 list that I ever do and it was a little bit difficult, but I've laid out all my box sets and, and I determined what I thought were the top 10, in my opinion, um, that were released this year. So maybe your list will be different than mine, but um, in my opinion, uh, these are my top 10, and yeah, let's go straight into it. Uh, the first one being an Aniplex title. So this is the Promised Neverland, and this is an amazing set. I really do love the image that they chose here in the front with Emma and some of the kids following her. I just think it looks amazing, as well as the gold text that uh, they used for this set. I do like how the gold text also looks in the back, but this is actually the main reason why it's at number 10, because they decided to go ahead and include all of the Blu-ray information embedded into the box. I would have preferred had they had they used a J card or something and put some other artwork back here, and it probably would have been a little bit higher in the list, but nonetheless, it is an awesome set. Here's the spine. I think the spine looks good as well with the golden text on the black background. And Aniplex always puts out great sets. Um, in my mind, they're kind of like the criterion for anime. Uh, they're always use some nice artwork and it does feel premium, but they're kind of a little bit bare bones when it comes to, um, to extras. They usually always include just the Blu-ray and a little small pamphlet. In this case, it is actually one of the thick, thicker ones but usually it's a thin little pamphlet with some, a little bit of art and stuff like that. But yeah, even they even use a clear case like the Criterion does. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good analogy. But yeah, I think we're starting the list pretty strong here. This, this is my number 10 pick. Continuing, we have a Funimation box set here. This one is for Zombieland Saga. And I like this one a lot just because of the holographic look that it has. And I also like how they show the characters when they're in their idol, when they're dressed up as their idols, and then also in their zombie form up here on the top. I think it looks pretty cool. And then the spine, just look at that spine. I love the yellow background and then the splashes of color on the sides. It looks really good on the shelf. And then moving on to the back, and I'm not the biggest fan of the squares here that they decided to go with. Uh, it still looks nice, but uh, this was one of the reasons that it made it to number nine and not a little bit further. And then as far as the inside, we do just get the standard Blu-ray, a little booklet, and then some stickers, some stickers and some art cards. And these art cards are really nice. Um, but yeah, this is my number nine pick. All right, number eight, we have Fire Force. Uh, this is the season one box set. And in this one, I liked it because they were kind of specific with where they put the shine of the holographic shine um, to the box set. Here, they kind of put it around the blue areas of the suit here, and I think it looks pretty cool. And then on the eyes, you can also see it a little bit there. So um, I like the fact that they put a little bit of thought into this one. And then on top of that, there is also there is also like a little bit of texture added um, that just has a nice feel to it. It's just like a another added bonus to this box set that looks really nice. I'm, I'm still not sure if it's supposed to be blood or what it is. I still haven't seen this anime, but I do love the box set. Uh, so here's the front. Here's the spine, which again, we have the holographic shine on the lines there, the blue lines and then the back. And then another cool thing about this one was that they didn't just stop on the box set. Uh, even the slip covers has that same shine onto them. Uh, so I did pick up season one, part one and season one, part two. All right, so that was my number eight pick. At number seven, we have the most recent uh, box set that I picked up and this one is for Violet Evergarden. Uh, this one I put at number seven simply because I just like it whenever um, studios put some real thought into the packaging. And I just like the fact that they made this one look like a package. Uh, it's something that you wouldn't understand unless you watch the anime. So I like subtleties like that. And that's why this one is at number seven. All right, so here's the front. 
here is the spine. This is what you would have, uh, this is what you would be showing when you display it on the shelf. So I think this spine is actually really nice. It does stand out on the shelf. And I just really like what they went with here on the side. Uh, it's not that way on this side. So this is definitely the side that you want to display. And then here's the back. Um, you just have some awesome artwork in here. When you take off the slip cover, you can see that these are actually stamps, um, but there is some really nice artwork there. So I'll kind of zoom in so you guys can take a better look. And then in the inside, we got the standard release with a slip cover, a really huge thick art book, definitely a lot to see in there. And one thing that I did think was pretty weak in this one were the extras. Um, I don't understand why they use such a huge box when um, all you have in here are just art cards and sticker sheets. You really didn't even need a box, but yeah, it just kind of beefed up the box set for no reason. But maybe they were doing that just so it could look more like a bigger package. I don't know, but uh, either way, I did enjoy this box set and it is my number seven release for this year. All right, at number six, we have One Punch Man season two. Uh, this is a really nice box set, in my opinion. Uh, the reason I put this one at number six, there's two big reasons. One is because we do get a nice slip cover here that can protect your box when you're taking it in and out of the shelf. I really wish more box sets and steelbooks do this. Um, the Sentai Filmworks steelbooks, those all have that. So I do appreciate that Sentai includes the uh, plastic slip. And uh, the other reason is because of these art cards. Um, you can kind of personalize uh, this box set depending on whichever art card you'd like best. I decided to display Geno's uh, just because I do have the season one box set as well. And I have that one displaying Saitama. And so for season two, I decided to put Geno's on the front, but you could really pick and choose out of any of these characters on these art cards and any of them will work. Say you like this character here, you can put him in the front, insert it in the box set, and there you go. It does kind of fit with the, with the box set. They all do kind of um, work, and that's what I like about it. You can personalize it to your choosing. I'm gonna go ahead and put Geno's back in the front. And it makes it look like he's kicking through the wall. Uh, so yeah, those were the two main reasons why I have this one at my number six spot. All right, moving into the top five. At number five, we have Weathering With You. I just think that the artwork that they chose here in the front of this box set looks really nice. Um, I remember the first time I got it, um, it just amazed me just the way that the front artwork looked here. And it just has a matte texture, which just feels really nice. It looks feels really premium. And the main reason why I have this one in my top five as number five is because of the fact that this one is a 4K disc. Um, they don't, you don't have too much, too many anime right now to pick from that's in 4K. They are just starting to release some like Akira, Ghost in the Shell. And I believe there's a few others that are coming out in 4K. But Weathering With You, I did see this one in 4K and it looked amazing. Uh, this one has a lot of water involved and just the rain and the water looked really amazing on 4K. And I would definitely suggest you guys pick up the 4K copy from this one if you guys have the capabilities of watching your anime or your content in 4K. Um, but yeah, besides that, I do still do love this booklet. Um, here's the spine. The spine is pretty simple and the back is pretty simple as well. But it's just really mainly that front cover that looks amazing in my opinion. And then going inside, they don't go with just a regular um, Blu-ray release. This one is sort of like a digibook packaging. I'm not too sure what to call this. I don't think it's a digibook, but um, I do like it when they do this. I think the artwork on this looks really good as well. Um, you guys can kind of see for yourself there. But yeah, it's a really nice release and I'm definitely glad that I have this one. And it is my number five pick. So yeah, if you don't agree with the order that I have these next three in, just know that they could really have gone in any way. And this is just the way that I decided to order them in today. And with that said, at number four, we do have our next Aniplex title, uh, Demon Slayer. 
And this one is at number four based solely on the artwork for these. I think the artwork for these are amazing. So for season one, part one, we have Tatsumi on the left here using the water breath. And then for season two, part two, he did activate the fire breathing at one point and I did watch this anime recently. I did fall in love with it. I think it's an amazing anime, but that really didn't have any um, reason as to why I put this one at number four. Like I said, it's even the spines. I think they look really awesome there. They look really nice on the shelf, but the artwork on the back, I think is even better than the one in the front. Uh, just here's a closer look at this. This is from season one, part one. And then this one is from season one, part two. So we have all of the main demon slayers on the back of this box set. I haven't seen what she does yet, but I really like her, her, her look. Um, I'm hoping I can see more of her in the next season, which yeah, now I can't wait for the movie. I really want to watch the movie now. I just finished this one actually yesterday. So I can't imagine how you guys that have finished this like a year or years ago. It's probably been agonizing for you guys waiting for the next, um, season or next film in this case um i just have to wait a few months um and it's already pretty unbearable but anyways um yeah as far as the inside of these box sets they're pretty bare bones you just get a blu-ray case a cd case and a small little booklet for each one of these the artwork on those cases is also pretty good but um those weren't the reasons why i chose this one to be number four um, it was mainly just the covers, the covers and the backs. Uh, so yeah, these both were my number four pick. All right, now going into the top three. At number three, we have Dr. Stone. Uh, this is another recent pickup that I just talked about in my recent unboxing video. And yeah, in that video, I kind of explained why I loved it so much, but one of them was because of this unique texture that they added here uh, to represent the stone, I'm assuming. I still haven't seen this anime, but I just thought that that texture was pretty unique. I had never seen something like that before. And I think it works really well with this um, box set. And they don't just have it here on the front. Um, they also have it all around the spine, which I think makes the spines look really good. Here's the spine, the top, and then the bottom. And then, while well, I already thought this was all amazing, that we then, I then uncovered the J card and I was treated to this awesome artwork on the back, which this artwork alone looks amazing, but they did go the little extra mile and on the characters here, uh, they sort of made them a different texture. You can kind of see that they're a little bit more, um, I don't know what to call this. I still don't know what this is called, but I guess it's more like of a glossy finish to them. Uh, so yeah, those reasons are why this one is my number three. And my number two might come as a shocker, but it is The Rising of the Shield Hero. Um, I've been praising this one all year long. I always compared it to all of the other box sets because this was honestly a really awesome um, box set from Funimation. And I even talked about it in my Dr. Stone unboxing. Um, I was kind of hinting that Dr. Stone might beat this one, but ultimately um, I still decided as putting this one on top of Dr. Stone because yeah, just looking at them side by side, I still do think that the artwork on this one looks amazing. And another reason might be because I've actually watched this anime. So I'm a little bit more attached to the characters. I love Raftalia and Nalfami. So them being here on the cover and looking awesome like they do here, uh, just might be one of the reasons why I put this one over Dr. Stone, but um, on top of the awesome artwork, it does have like a weird holographic look to it. Not quite super shiny, but just slightly shiny. And then the shield and the text has a completely different uh, shine to it. It's not quite holographic. It's just more like a foiling, uh, like they use some foil there. And I think it gives it a really nice effect. So yeah. Uh, so this is the front. Here's the spine, which I think looks also pretty elegant there. They use that same uh, foil type um, material for the spine and these little borders here. Oh, shoot, sorry. 
I was actually showing you guys the back. This was the back, which, which I really loved. And then this was the actual front, where, which again, we just have Nelfami and Raftalia here on the front. Crap, so I talked about it backwards. I should have shown you guys this one and then showed you how awesome this background art is, but they're both really great. I do love the artwork here on the front as well. Then here's the top and the bottom. Uh, so yeah, some of you might be surprised that this one is at my number two. Um, you might have thought it would be my number one, but there is one other box set that you guys probably forgot about. Um, and my number one pick is Food Wars. So yeah, I always love these box sets. Whenever Food Wars comes out with a new box set for these, I always pre-order it right away now. And this season three box set might be one of my favorite ones. I just love the way it opens up, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But first off, um, so if you guys haven't seen these, um, Food Wars is a food anime. And each season they release a box set that sort of resembles like a bento box, I'm assuming. Um, although when I went to Japan, I never saw any bento boxes quite as nice as these, but yeah. But yeah, here's the top. Here's the front with a nice little stamp there that is also kind of has like a foil effect to it. And then the rest of it is just kind of mimics a wooden look to it. It's not real wood, it's just like pla um, cardboard, but it does look nice. So again, similar to the Violet Evergarden, I just really like the attention to detail they went with this. They really go all in with these box sets and it really does resemble uh, the anime, Food Wars. So yeah, when I open this up, I think it has probably the best opening among the three box, Food Wars box sets so far. It opens up and down, and then we're treated to this awesome artwork here. So we have Soma here on the left and Irina on the right, looking really good. And then you open it once more, and we got some more characters here on the left and on the right, and then the Blu-rays are in the center, which I think is a really awesome way to package these things um, and then we do get some extra goodies in these little in these little compartments here so yeah as you guys can see it was honestly no contest there was no other box set that had this much attention to detail that looked this great and and yeah that's why this one made my number one pick for my top box sets uh, for 2020 All right, so here's one last look at my top 10 box sets. We got 10 through six down here, and then five through one up there. And sorry about the glare here on One Punch Man. I'll do one more pan um, across all of these so you guys can take one last look at them. And let me know if you guys agree with my list. Did you think I missed some box sets that should probably be in here? Um, or do you think maybe these should be rearranged in another way? Uh, what are your top 10 picks? And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually did have fun making this one. So uh, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.